Hello. Okay, so it's time for update 15. This is going to be a thrill ride. There's a lot of information in this update. I'm going to point you to the actual text for most of it because otherwise this is going to get out of control. So a lot of important things, cool things going on. Uh, probably the biggest one that a lot of people have been asking about is PayPal support. So if you would like to back the project through PayPal, you now have that opportunity open to you. Um, good times for that. Also, a lot of Polish and Russian speaking folks have been asking about support for their languages. Hooray! Uh, we're actually going to have both Polish and Russian supported by distributors in Poland and Russia. So we don't have to have a stretch goal for it. It's just being covered internally by the distribution deals that we're setting up. So welcome. Also, we are adding two more stretch goals. Uh, we hope you enjoy what we are offering here. Uh, and uh, they're pretty cool. So the first one are two new classes. So we're doing a class update today, so we're talking about what the base classes are, some of the other classes that we've already added, or rather you've already added through backing the project, but also two more classes that we'd like to support. Those two new classes are Barbarians. You might be kind of familiar with the general idea of what Barbarians are, so we have a brief write-up on them. And also Ciphers. Uh, ciphers are even more soul-oriented than most characters in Project Eternity. And if you get the vibe that they're kind of like psionicists, that is completely intentional. So yeah, that's that's kind of what we're doing with those guys. So those are the stretch. That's the 2.5 million dollar stretch goal. The 2.6 million dollar stretch goal is the Adventurers Hall. The Adventurers Hall is not only a place where we can sort of have rallying points for some of the scumbag evil adventurers that you'll eventually encounter in the game, but also it is a place where you can uh, recruit additional. I won't say companions because they're not fully fleshed out companions, but they're additional party members that you create. So a lot of people have wanted the ability to create a whole party. A lot of people have asked, well, what if I don't like, you know, what if there's a priest companion that I think sucks as just a character and I don't like the character? Well, good news. You can use the Adventurer's Hall to go there and you can make your own priest or you can make five priests and run around or make a party of monks or whatever the heck you want to do. So you have that ability. It will probably be sort of tapered out through the course of the story because we are building the game to be paced for starting with one character and then adding companions as you go. But this will give you the ability to build up a party over the course of the game. So if you want to use some companions and some characters that you've made or mix or no companions and just guys that you've made, you'll be able to do it through the Adventurer's Hall if we hit 2.6 million. So that should be pretty cool. Also, uh, there is a new Reddit Q&A that's going on. So Tim Kaine previously did a Q&A on Reddit, took the top five questions that people had asked, or I'm sorry, top five voted up questions that people had asked. This time the theme is combat overall. So if you want to participate in that, there's a link in the update text itself. And also classes. So I'm not going to get into the details of this in the video because that would get crazy. So basically we're going to talk about the core four today. The core four being the fighter, the priest, the rogue, and the wizard. In addition to those, we also have the monk, the ranger, and the druid. And like I said, we're talking about adding the barbarian and the cipher. So we're only going to talk about the core four today because there's a lot of text there. Also, we have a really cool piece of art. We've been waiting a long time to be able to show you guys this stuff. Um, Kieran Yanner did this really great piece. So check out that piece. We hope you like it. Uh, let us know if you have any questions about the content of this update, what you'd like to see in future updates, all that great stuff. Thank you again for all of your support and uh, good times. Thank you.